Hello everyone and welcome to the 22nd Deuce Deuce episode of Tuesdays with Toby. My name is Toby Frierson and I learned a lot about you all last week. First, it appears that you guys really get into human interest stories, if I can call it that, or either show and tell. I used a ton of props last week, but essentially my viewership was up and I want to thank you all for watching and for commenting on the tough decision that I told you I needed to make last week. Uh, just a little disclaimer. Um, I did not get the feedback that I thought I was going to get, and I'll get into that a little bit later. I thought this was going to go one way, and it went a whole different way. But nevertheless, you all tuned in. You provided feedback. Thank you for the text messages. Thank you for the Facebook posts. And of course, those of you who are watching now, you can see the comments below. Quick disclaimer, if you did not see Tough Decisions Part 1, you should stop right now because this is going to serve as a spoiler to that episode. So stop this, go back one week, and go ahead and check out Tough Decisions Part 1. Today, I'm excited to actually share some of the feedback that I got. And in sharing some of the feedback that I got, I'm also going to tell you all where I feel like I've landed in my decision. So buckle up, let's hop right in, and thanks for joining me again today. Before we dive into today's episode, as we do each week, I need you all to look behind me. Let's say our family rules together. Ready, read. During Tuesdays with Toby, we will use kind words, do your best, always be honest, forgive and forget, be happy, count your blessings, laugh at yourself, stay positive, and love one another. I'll be honest with you, because the feedback was so mixed, the biggest lesson I learned and the greatest takeaway that I have from last week's episode is this. Never ask for someone's opinion on a really big life decision before you already have some direction of what you want to go in or either before you actually already have a decision and you just kind of want to bring people in on your decision and have them weigh in. That's the biggest lesson I learned. I'll just be frank with you all. I expected you to laugh me off of the platform after hearing that I had a prior head and neck injury just a year before hopping on my bike to go joyriding. And that's not what I got. I got a ton of support. I mean, look in the comments. You can see it for yourself. I got a lot of support. I got a lot of people saying, Toby, you have one life. Go for it. Um, this is a dream of yours. You should. We should all live out our dreams. I got a lot of that. Um, I also got some reverse uh, comments where people were saying, you checked off that dream. Go ahead and live life, but not on a bike. You need four wheels, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But needless to say, uh, it made me take a closer look for sure. Having the uh, varied feedback made me lean in a little bit, take a closer look, and continue to settle in on the decision that I feel like I've made. And I really want to thank you all for taking the time out to watch a 15-minute video because I promised you all in the beginning that Tuesdays with Toby would be between 7 and 10 minutes or so. So thank you for the feedback, and I really want to get into it. I want to tell you all what people said just in case you don't have the time to look at all the comments, and then I want to share where I've landed on this decision. So here we go with some of the feedback. One of my coworkers said, Toby, riding is risky business with or without previous accidents. However, if one day you ended up needing a caregiver, could you live with the burden that that's going to place on your loved ones, on your family and friends? Y'all had not thought about that at all because typically people who participate in extreme sports, uh, they don't think about accidents. You know, we think about the sport itself. We think about the activity itself. So I want to thank you so much for that comment and that perspective. An emergency room nurse for over 30 years says, no, keep the memories, move forward, Toby, Keep the memories. You do not have to ride again. I've seen too much in my time as an emergency room nurse. I've seen too much trauma. Another coworker said, Toby, your tough decision was more of a reaction. You should follow your gut in this moment. Thank you for that. A former biker, this person actually had a similar accident that I had, had road rash, uh, totaled their bike, things like that. Um, and also they have not lost the desire to ride either. That desire is still there. But their decision was based on the fact that I don't know what would happen to my husband if something happened to me. So I'm going to consider my spouse in this moment, and this person has chosen not to ride again. Several viewers commented that, hey, there's going to always be a risk in everything that we do. Um, you should do, Toby, what makes you happy. And I want to put a pin in that last statement. So I should do what makes me happy. We're going to come back to that in a bit. A dear and trusted voice from the upstate of South Carolina. This is one of my former co-workers, and I definitely call her a friend. She was like, Toby, I wouldn't take your first accident into consideration at all. She was like, it was a freak of nature. And you're going to hear more about that next week. She said, so for this, you should sit with yourself. You should really consider whether it's time to hang up the helmet or not, 
or maybe consider riding in a different type of area. Maybe not ride in a very populated area. So thank you for that comment. I had several comments from my D group. A D group is a dream group. It's a group of ladies that I've been walking through life with for about three years now. One person commented and said, could you live a, a life and never ride again? Would you be okay in life if you never rode again? So they, they asked that question. The answer is yes, I, I would live a very full life without riding again. Another said, it's your dream, get a bike. Another said, no, because life is way too short. Um, this person is also a healthcare worker and said, I've seen too much trauma firsthand. Uh, the thug of the group, you know who you are, said, Toby, you had an accident? I cannot believe we didn't know you had an accident. Did not even comment on the decision or not. Was super hung up on the fact that I didn't share. I'm very sorry. I, I know. Um, and I know you had some words for me. But, uh, but that was the comments from my D group. Two dear cousins of mine who are also faithful listeners of Tuesdays with Toby. Thank you guys so much. Um, one said, life is full of calculated risk. So go ahead and ride again. And the other said, Toby, you're due for a come to Jesus moment. I heard you loudly and clearly because I think I know what that means. I think I know where your vote is. One of my dear aunties says, hey, sweetheart, everyone has done something interesting in their life that should have required more wisdom than they actually used. God loves you. He spared your life. Please seek him in all that you do. Auntie, thank you so much. Um, your message was also very clear and I appreciate that perspective. My dear brother said, sis, you made the right decision. Uh, you're blessed. Uh, he encouraged me not to keep pushing my luck and he told me to stay on four wheels. Uh, another dear friend of mine and a former coworker sent me one line. Toby, this is not a tough decision at all. Get a bicycle. That was hilarious. Um, a couple of more. Um, another cousin gave me some feedback and said, um, have you considered getting a bike for the weekend? Toby, you don't have to go out and purchase another bike. You don't have to own a bike. Have you ever considered renting so you can scratch that itch whenever it comes up and then satisfy your need or your desire to ride? I'll be honest with you all. I definitely had not thought about the fact that I can have access to a bike but not actually have a bike. Um, so yeah, maybe you all can weigh in on that in the comments as well. And then finally, a dear high school friend encouraged me not to focus so much on the decision, but to make sure the decision is done prayerfully. She also said that, hey, there's a lot of ministry opportunities in biking. Um, and that's something that I had not thought about for sure. And then lastly, my mom's text was my favorite. She said, very interesting show today. So you had the urge to get another bike? Wow. So as you can all see, the responses were super varied. I mean, all over the place, everything from give it more time, pray about it, go get a bike, um, maybe not purchase, but rent and scratch that itch. I mean, it was a lot, but it was also what I asked you all for. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Here's the deal. And I wanna be 100% clear about this. I absolutely still have the desire to ride motorcycles. I am not afraid to be on two wheels at all and honestly, after you see what being on four wheels did to me back in 2019, I just, anything could happen at any moment. And so that in and of itself is not keeping me from riding again. However, those of you who know me for sure, I desire to live in peace and harmony as well. And by desiring to live in peace and harmony, I do have the ability to look at the people who love me, who I love, and I have the ability to make decisions based off of just how bad those decisions may or may not disrupt and affect those relationships. So in this moment, that's kind of sort of what I've done. I can already imagine that some of you may be concerned that I made this decision with others in mind and not myself. But that's just not true. That's not true. All situations wouldn't lend itself to me being able to sacrifice my desire for someone else's. But this one, yeah, this one's okay. So it's with great sadness, but a ton of pride because this was a tough decision that I announced to you all that I will not be purchasing another bike. Toby is no longer a biker. Wait, I told you guys last week, I was never really a biker. I enjoyed riding a bike and I had a bike, but I definitely was never that. So with that said, um, mission accomplished, life goal checked off, dream checked off. And for right now, we won't be purchasing a bike. I hope you all like, share and subscribe and i'll see you back here next week as we start a multiple episode series titled no way i survived that there's no way take care guys thank you so much